Hey guys, what's going on? It's Dokana here, and today we're going to be doing an event analysis for Boss Rush. So real quick, I'm not going to be going over a team analysis. I'm going to be dropping that one when the event goes live. And that is going to be, today's the 24th day that I'm recording, so I'm going to be dropping this probably around 4 or 5 o'clock tonight. So if you're looking for a team building analysis, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so that way you know when I drop that video, it's going to be available at 2.30 in the morning. Or you just come back and check out the video when, you know, at 2.30 if you actually remember to do that. <laughs> anyway, um, so we're going to be going over all the different bosses in each of the levels. There's a whole bunch of them. Uh, the first two are not that horrible, but the next two get a little bit more difficult. Also, most of these bosses do keep their actual abilities from their Doken events, such as the Broly, you need to have a, a special Rampage disable in order to attack him. But um, without that, with that being said, let's go ahead and talk about all the levels. Level 1 is Super Fierce Battle Boss Rush number 1. You go up against the Strength Broly. Uh, level 2, you're going to be going up against the Technique Cell. Level 3, you go up against three different stages. First, you go up against the Tech Fat Good Boo. Then you go up against, once you beat him, you go up against the Tech Super Boo. And then you go up against the Physical Kid Boo. Fourth round is you go up against Super Saiyan 2 Physical Goku, and then you go up against the Agility Super Saiyan 3 Goku for the Super Saiyan 3 Goku event. And then the fifth round is going to be the first round of Strength Janemba, the, the big fat one. And the second round is going to be the Intelligence Janemba. Now, this one isn't that hard. You should be able to go through this relatively quickly if you have cards from a new meta. Any of the 70% leaders and a decent team, you'll be able to blast or level one without a problem. Um, this one, I'm not, I don't really think any of you guys are really going to need to have a team building guide set up for you, but if you do, chances are, I want to be real with you, chances are you're probably not going to be able to take on the, uh, the following events to come if you were having struggling with the first one. Um, so if that's the case, you know, work on getting better cards, work on getting better units, grind out some free-to-play cards. Um, there will be a couple that I'm going to mention in the video that I'm dropping that you should grind out so that way you could add them to your team if you're lacking certain characters. Let's go to the Super Fierce Battle Boss Rush number 2. Now the first 5 stages are all the same. You have the Strength Broly, the Technique Cell, the Kid Buu event, the Super Saiyan 3 Goku, then the Janemba. And then you go another 5 rounds and the... F the, f uh, the sorry, can't talk. 6th round is the Gogeta event. You go up against your first stage of the Tech Super Saiyan Goku and the Agility Super Saiyan Angel Vegeta. After you beat those two, it goes into the Strength Gogeta. Uh, the next round is, or the next boss, is going to be the Full Power Frieza event, where you go up against the Tech Frieza, then you go up against Final Form Agility Frieza, and the third stage is the Final Form or Full Power Frieza. Now remember, if you don't beat Full Power Frieza in this event, he will one-shot you for like a couple hundred thousand. And remember, at that time, that was really a lot of damage. I know now you might be able to get away with it if you have a really good defender, but keep that in mind. Remember that these guys will be keeping their abilities. Uh, the eighth boss is going to be the Gohan event, the Ultimate Gohan event. You go up against the Strength Ultimate Gohan in the first stage. Second stage is the Physical Ultimate Gohan, and then the third stage is the Dokkan, the, uh, the other Dokkan exclusive, the uh, Intelligence Gohan Ultimate Gohan. Uh, ninth stage is Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta event. You go up against the Tech one in the first stage, and then you go up against the Strength one in the second stage. And then the last one is the tenth stage, which is uh, the Beerus event. You go up against the base form Beerus, and then the second stage after you beat him. He goes to his token form where you go up against the tech, another tech one version of himself. This is the one that has the rage mode, so keep that in mind. He will be he'll be hitting you pretty hard when he's in rage mode, and he won't be taking a lot of damage. Just make sure you have, I think it was godly power that takes him down. I'd have to actually double check to find out in that event. Just double check that it is godly power. Uh, you need the godly power link in order to take him down. But again, um, just remember that you don't want to spe uh, specifically go after... Uh, one debilitating boss in itself because there are so many that are here that you're going to have to go up against. So it's really defending, attacking, and healing. Those are the three things you need to focus on when you build your team. And then level two. The level, now this one is get a little bit harder. Uh, the level two of the boss rush number two, it's not that difficult, uh, in my opinion, because you're only going up against five bosses in this event. You go up against all the 100% leaders, or the ones without the key leads, the demigod leads, I guess the, the community calls it. First round is the Kaioken Blue Goku event, where you go up against the tech stage first, and the agility stage second, then another agility, then a third agility. Um, so you're going to be going up against all of those uh, Gokus, and then the last one is a Kaioken Goku event. Uh, second stage, or the second boss, is going to be the Golden Frieza 100% leader. Uh, first stage, you go up against four opponents, the Intelligence Frieza, then you have the Strength Shishami, then you have the Tech Tagoma, and the Intelligence Sorbet. 
Second stage is First Form Frieza, third stage is Final Form Frieza, fourth stage is the Tech Golden Frieza, and then the fifth stage is the Agility Nightmare Returns, uh, Agility Final Form Frieza. Uh, that's the one where if you don't defeat him, he will destroy you in one hit. Make sure you, you know, take him out right away. Super Attacks is definitely what you're going to want in this one. Third one is going to be the Goku Black event, 100% Demigod lead. You go up first stage against the Tech Goku Black, then the second stage is the Physical, and then third stage is his Doken form. Uh, that one's going to be a little bit shorter, a little bit easier. Fourth stage is going to be the Cell 100% lead. The, more, the only one that's really a pain in the ass on this event is all those damn Cell Juniors, because you go up against five of them, two of them are physical, the other three are Agility, Intelligence, and Tech type. Uh, he does heal himself, so remember that, keep that in mind, he does heal himself in this event, so you're going to want to make sure that your damage output outdoes his healing ability. Second stage is a tech, uh, final, uh, perfect cell, and then the third stage is a strength perfect cell. The fifth boss, fifth and last boss on this event, is going to be the Intelligence Vegeta Blue event. So the first level you go up against base form Vegeta, second one is Super Saiyan Vegeta tech form, third one is the Strength Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta, and then the fourth form is going to be the Super Saiyan God Intelligence Vegeta. And once you beat all those, you can get right through it. Again, a fully powered team should be able to go up against without a problem. I think the first three stages are the easiest ones, or the first three levels of the boss rush are the easiest one. The next one we're going to talk about, this is the one that's a pain in the ass. This one actually can take an hour and a half to run with an optimal team. Anywhere between an hour to an hour and a half. I guess like you could try doing a speed run on that to see if you could beat it within an hour. That would be pretty cool. I'm sure there's someone who has already done it, I just don't know. But this is level 2 Super Fierce Battle Boss Rush number 3. Uh, this one has 14 stages, so yes, it is a very, very long, long one. The first five are, I'm not going to go over again because I just talked about them in the last one. It's all the Demigod leads, the Kaioken Blue Goku, the Tech Golden Frieza, the Physical Goku Black, Strength Perfect Cell, and the Intelligence Vegeta Blue. Uh, then we're going to start off, and then we're going to start going after the 70% leads and some of the other Doken exclusives that came out after the 70% leads start, well, were available to get. The sixth level is going to be the Super Vegito event. Uh, first stage is going to be the base form Goku, base form Vegeta. The second stage is the base form Vegito uh, intelligence unit. And then the third one is going to be the 70% lead Super Vegito. Uh, you go through that event. Number seven is going to be the physical Broly event where you go up against this first stage of physical Broly. Second stage is the undoken variant of the strength Broly. Remember, he keeps his passive, so you're going to need to do some damage reduction or defense reduction there. Third stage, same thing, is going to be the physical Broly, do some damage, uh, defense reduction, so that way you can go after him. You'll be able to take on that event real quick, as long as you have that. The eighth stage is going to be the 70% lead Gotenks, Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks event. Uh, first stage is going to be the Super Saiyan Trunks and the Super Saiyan Goten. Second stage is the Super Saiyan Physical Gotenks. And then the third stage is going to be the one where he mixes between the Technique Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks, the Super Gotenks, which is the Strength type, and the Base Form Strength Gotenks. Ninth round is the Buhan event, where this is the pain in the ass one. This one is the one that, you know, you can actually do it a little bit quicker. In my opinion, between the two, the Gotenks is a little bit more pain in the ass because you need a Piccolo or Super Buu card. But ninth one, it's going to be a little bit more pain in the ass if you don't have a decent team to go after him. Um, or you're going to have to wait till he gets down to the Kid Buu form. The first stage, you're going up against the Intelligence Buhan. After four rounds, he goes down to the Tanks or the Majin Buu Gotenks Absorbed Strength version, variant of himself. After four rounds, he goes down to the Bukalo or the Majin Buu with Piccolo Absorb. Uh, he's an intelligence type. Four more rounds after that, he goes down to the Super Buu, which is the physical type. Then he goes down after two rounds to the Tech South Supreme Kai Absorb Buu. And after two more rounds, he goes down to the Tech Kid Buu. And that's the last one you're going to fight up against until you destroy him or he kills you. This one, in my opinion, is more of a pain in the ass. You could definitely beat him before he gets to the Bukalo or the, the uh, Piccolo Absorb one. Uh, also, I just remembered... The Intelligence uh, Piccolo Absorb Majin Buu does heal himself when you're fighting up against him. I forgot for how much he actually heals himself for. Just keep that in mind when you're going up against him. You're going to need to make sure you take him out either before that round or make sure your damage output exceeds his uh, regeneration. I think it's like 125,000. Don't quote me on that. Tenth round, a little bit shorter. You go up against the Sin Shenron, and then you go up against 70% leader Omega Shenron. Eleventh round is the, Goku, the Super Saiyan Rose event. You go up against the Super Saiyan Rose agility form for the first one, and the second one you go up against Super Saiyan Rose and Zamasu. Remember, Zamasu is immortal, so go up against the Super Saiyan Rose again, try to take him out, and then you go up against Super Saiyan Rose one more time in the final one where he gets his Doken Awakened variant. Uh, the next one is the Vegito Blue event. The first round you go up against the Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta and Goku and the, I guess you call it the Rage, the Tech Rage Trunks. Uh, second round is Vegito Blue on Doken, and then third round is Vegito Blue, Vegito Blue, uh, Doken. 
uh, 13th round you go up against Merge the Masu, which is the physical Merge the Masu. Uh, the second round is the tech Merge the Masu undokened, and then the third round is the dokened version of Merge the Masu, where he has the fucked up face. 14th round and last round of this event is going to be the Super Trunks event, where you go up against the Strength Trunks, the Technique Trunks, this is the second round, Super Saiyan Trunks. Third round is the Strength Super Saiyan Trunks. Fourth round is the Physical um, Super Saiyan Trunks. And the fifth one is the Intelligence Super Saiyan Rage Trunks. Man, that was a mouthful, and I, my mouth is kind of dry from going over every single one of those. That is the third round, and I think that's the one we will have up until, just because the last one that is currently available, we don't have any of the 120% leaders. Um, I'm just going to mention it real quick. This is going to be the Super Fierce Battle Boss Rush number three. This one is available on the JP side where you go up against half of the 120 leaders. You go up against Super, Sa uh, Super Saiyan 4s. First round is Super Saiyan 4 Goku. The second round is Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. Then you go up against the Physical Cool around and the Super Saiyan 3 Goku around. And then the Intelligence Kid Boo around. Um, so that's going to be the one. That I'll go over that more in-depthly once it becomes available on the global side. Just keep that in mind. All these events are coming out. None of them cost any stamina to run. You don't get any Zenny. You don't get any rank. You don't get any character XP, and you could only attain the Dragon Stones once. So real quick, let's go over the Dragon Stone rewards. The first round that I told you about, where you go up against the uh, Strength Broly all the way down to the Janemba, you get five stones for beating that, because it's a little bit easier, um, assuming you have better cards. The level one, stage two, is ten Dragon Stones. That is from the Strength Broly all the way down to the Tech Beerus. Level two, Boss Rush two, you get 20 stones for beating all the 100% leaders. And the last one is 30 Dragon Stones for beating all 14 stages. Now, personally, I think you should be getting a hell of a lot more than 30 Dragon Stones for that. I think that last one should be like 50 Dragon Stones just because there are so many bosses there and you have to have an OP team in order for you to have all the good units in order to go up against it. You either need to be really, really lucky with, your, with some of those free-to-play cards that you have or you need to have, throw a lot of money you need to wail out on the game to make it possible. So I think Bandai should have hooked us all up there with that one. But whatever, I'm not Bandai, I can't do anything about that. Um, the last stage that's not going to be available is going to be the level 3 Super Boss Rush number 3. It's 30 Dragon Stones as well. But yeah, that's it guys. Remember, I will be dropping a video about team building guide. Uh, not specifically what team to run. I'm going to be telling you what teams I'm going to try out. But I'm going to be telling you what to look for when you're building your own team. Uh, the Reddit also has their own um, Reddit forum mega thread going on about helping people build out their team so if you're interested in that go ahead and i'll leave the link in the description below to that reddit mega thread so that way you guys can go ahead and hopefully have someone help you out essentially the video that i'm going to create is going to be your guideline of what you should try to run to see how much how far you can get if you are lacking some op units with really good damage output i would say you need at least two of them two healers or one really good healer and one one or two really good defenders that would be a best i guess an optimal one just going over it really quick in order for you to run that event but anyway that's just my opinion i don't know yet i'd have to double check and see how you beat that event with more free to play cards i'll do some research and i'll get back to you guys but thank you hit that sub button if you're new here sorry for the long-winded video and i will catch you later